Hey guys, what's up? It's 8 Eric, and today we're going to talk about a weird Sega game on the Nintendo Switch. It's called Rocket Ages 2 Bigger and Bolder, pun intended. Uh, it looked really wacky. I just, I needed to see what the hell was going on with this game. And you basically play like a game of war where you're controlling a big boulder that has to go through a map and avoid obstacles and tear down your enemies front gates of his castle so it has a lot of weirdness to it and I was just like you know I had to find out just what this game is about so that's what today's video is all about Rocket Ages 2 bigger and bolder on the Nintendo Switch guys if you're brand new to the channel feel free to throw a subscription and let's go ahead and begin the video So Rock of Ages 2, Bigger and Bolder. I'd never even heard of Rock of Ages 1. Uh, I guess it was good enough to make a part 2. My initial impression of this game was like, wow, it kind of looks like a weird or a weirder version of Katamari Damacy. I mean, the, the gameplay mechanic is similar. You're carrying a boulder down a map, down a certain map or a battlefield. You have to roll, avoiding objects and stuff, and it's it's kind of interesting. It has a lot of like references to like historical figures, you know, like Isaac Newton, Joan of Arc, um, <laughs> like stuff like that. The 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 cutscenes are like weird Adult Swimish, like cut out like cardboard cutouts of these characters and everything. It's just it's all wacky. Like just trying to process what this game was about kind of just threw me off. Like. I've never even heard of this game and I've never even heard of the original and for me to miss out on this I mean where have I been underneath a rock pun intended so yeah it, it, rock of ages 2 the basic premise is you're going against somebody head to head and you control a rock or a boulder down an obstacle course there's like pits different types of natural environmental hazards and stuff but your enemy can also set up a defense like castle walls or big elephant types of things, or even lightning bolt your your boulder. Um, I've seen like weird stuff like lines on balloons that attach to the freaking boulder that you're rolling. There's also jumps. You have to like perform platforming while you're rolling throughout these levels because your, your boulder can fall off the stage at any time. And also you, between rounds, after you kind of make your way to the gate of your opponent, you have to try to like knock the wooden gate down so you can win. They have like a defense that protects their wooden gate. But you also have to set up your defense. And it has a little bit of crafting and building elements and stuff like that. Between each round you gain more money. And these go towards uh, different defenses that you can have. As I mentioned, castles, uh, castle walls, things like that. Catapults. So there's a little bit of tower defense elements to this game as well. It, it just overall, it was kind of a mishmash of a lot of things. I found it kind of interesting um and very difficult there's also different multiplayer modes as well there's a time attack mode that has you race somebody uh, an obstacle course mode that has you also racing to see who can make it to the end there's online multiplayer as well for this game so there's a good variety of different gameplay modes and everything the single player campaign has you taking different uh, routes on a map you can unlock new defenses and stuff so as you progress you get new weapons new boulders new defenses things that you can unlock to help you um, progress better in the game and stuff so yeah we're gonna go ahead and do a quick gameplay of this game just so you guys can check it out for yourselves it does play a little slow so i'm not gonna try too long just a couple rounds here or there so let's go ahead and begin okay guys so we are going to play a quick game of war which is basically just one single game just to give you guys an idea, I'm gonna select my weapon. Oh, look, I got a pumpkin, got a jackie lantern now. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna do the jackie lantern. Let's get my defenses. We got that, that, and that, and yeah, uh, I am ready. So I got, I picked my selection. So this is the map. It's showing you the direction that the that the guy's rock is gonna go. This is my defense, my castle. I have to defend right here. So the idea is you select up there with the ZL and ZR your stuff. So I'm going to set up a, a wall right here. Maybe a wall right there. A wall over here. 
And you can see on the bottom left, they're building my my rock. So I can't go until my rock is ready. And you can see there's different pits, stuff like that already set up among the stage. So the idea is you kind of you kind of set up some traps. You only have a set limit of money, so I ran out of money already setting up those. So that should be good enough. Let's see where where they're at. They should probably be sending their boulder around here pretty soon. I think they're not ready yet, but they do have their own. And then this side of the map is the side that's grayed out right there on the right is where I'm going to be traversing. And they set up their own defense and stuff. So it is an interesting little little game of war. <laughs> You know, I, I I kind of enjoy it. It has its own its own charm and stuff to it. Uh, and then also, I'm able to use lightning bolts, which cost zero. So I could I could actually lightning strike their boulder when it gets set. And see, the game does playing single player does get a little tedious because you have to wait for your rock and their rock before anything happens and stuff. But it looks like I'm about to be able to roll. You guys are gonna see, it does remind me a little bit of Katamari Damacy just because of <laughs> cause of how silly it is with its rolling. So here we go. Should be any second now, there we go. So now I'm gonna roll my big pumpkin across. You can even jump, you know, push and B. Oh shoot, he does have a lot of defenses. I just fell. I went out of bounds. That was my territory there. So yeah, I got placed. All right, so I screwed up just a tiny tad bit. Sometimes if you get a little too fast, look, he set up a castle wall right here. The idea is to break through it and keep your momentum. Here we go. There's his gate. So the idea is to, boom, right there. It did some good damage. So now it's round two. Uh, now I have some more money. I have 3,160. Let's set up some more defenses. Um, here I'm going to do these like elephant things. Just because they're kind of annoying to uh, to avoid. You know, he he slammed through my gates a little bit. So we got, we got some of those elephants. They kind of, they get in the way pretty good, to be honest. So... They're a good little setup. And I have 140 left, so I can't put anything. So now I wait again for my rock to get chiseled. And uh, we both kind of went at the same time, so I don't think his rock is going to be finished before mine. You can watch. You can watch what they're doing. Of course, you can't build right there but I could start building like right here if I wanted to um, it does take a moment so yeah this is Rock of Ages 2 bigger and bolder uh, it's unique I didn't think Sega developed or published games like this never heard of it so it caught me by surprise I think they're coming now or they're about to yep so we're about we're both going at the same time so now he's going while I'm going Oh shit. He stopped my momentum pretty good right there. I have a cow attached to me. Let's go. And your 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 boulder does suffer damage. I've seen it where my boulders were cracked and stuff because of getting hit by different objects and stuff. So the idea is to keep your boulder intact as much as possible so that you're able to knock the hell out of that gate. It looks like maybe one more hit and I will I will be able to destroy his uh, his defense so let's let's put a little bit more uh, let's do some catapults so let's see if maybe right here build a couple catapults that'll be hard to get through right there let's build a couple of you know arrows and stuff maybe a few more things right here all right I'm out of money again so it does get <laughs> you do run out of money very quickly and uh, this is just such a zany game guys I, I can't get over 
how how weird it is and this isn't even like the cutscenes and stuff so yeah we're almost i think this should be the final round i think if i knock his gate i win i don't know how bad my gate is i haven't checked my gate i don't know i think it's okay he has a lower health than i do if you look at the bottom right his health is lower than mine so i should in theory win this round Whoa, slow down little red corvette look at that he had like dynamite or something there we go you see he set up some walls and stuff i got destroyed he beat me you see that he won son of a gun he defeated me by the last second so as you get the general idea this is uh rock of ages 2 let's go ahead and finish up some closing thoughts well guys yeah rock of ages 2 bigger and bolder is a very interesting game and concept i i strangely had some fun playing it and i didn't think i would when i first saw what this game was all about uh, it was just too far out there for me, but honestly, it is pretty fun, especially when playing against other people online and playing with your friends locally. It's, it's, it has an element of war behind it with a basic simple premise, you know, roll a boulder, defeat their gate, set up your defenses. So it is enjoyable for the most part, and there does seem to be a fair amount of unlockables here and stuff. So I would rate this game a 7 you know it is passable it's not horrible it's interesting enough to keep me occupied when playing with somebody single player not so much single player does kind of get a little tedious in my opinion playing against a computer that's no fun so if you're looking for a, a somewhat okay multiplayer game then i would say give it a check out i don't know if it is a must own but it is actually i guess worth giving it a shot guys and that's it for the video thanks a lot for watching i will see y'all in the next one have a great day. Peace out. Consider supporting 8-Bit Eric on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description.